All right, this is basically just a rundown on the uh, the new Grim Reaper hybrid broadhead and uh, basically how to disassemble it and try to straighten it out. Uh, you notice here that uh, one of the blades, this one in particular, is kind of away from the ferrule a little bit. I've been using this broadhead as a, uh, a practice broadhead to field, or excuse me, to uh, broadhead tune my bow. And this particular broadhead has been lodged into a log and shot into a block target somewhere between 20 and 30 times. So it, it's, uh, it's held up very well, but it's definitely starting to show some wear. And I'm just going to go ahead and try to take it apart and see if there's anything jammed in there to maybe get this blade back in straight. Uh, I really don't want to have to buy replacement bra blades for uh, essentially a practice broadhead. So uh, that's basically it. Uh, I've got this uh, this insert-like thing on the back. Uh, it comes with the broadhead. I actually think I had it upside down. It's supposed to be on like that. It keeps the cup pushed up against the ferrule to keep that spring compressed and keep these springs up. But you notice I take it off and that cup's not moving at all. It's kind of jammed on there. So uh, I've got this eyeglass screwdriver. I'm going to try to pry it a little bit without slicing my fingers off from the broadhead. This is, despite it being shot so many times into the block target and the log, uh, it's still pretty sharp and I, I don't feel like getting cut today. So I'm just uh, going to take this flathead and try to stick it in this little notch here. Hopefully get it to unwedge and it's on there pretty good. Give it another shot. Not quite. I'm sorry, we're going to here. Not being cooperative. Yeah, what's that idea? Yeah, you see also, before I even take it apart, you see it still deploys all right. Uh, one of the, the blades is kind of kicked out a little bit, it kind of clicks. I don't know why you can see that. It's supposed to stay down like that one. But uh, all in all, pretty impressive stuff. Wiggling back and forth a little bit without snapping the blades. Because I'm not done tuning my bow yet and I don't want to ruin it. A little more hefty screwdriver, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and close that up. Oh, it's right on there. Have to come back with some pliers. That's on. All right. Took some pliers. I just wrapped it up with some. Excuse me. Wrapped it up with some paper towel to protect the uh, the, the cup here. Yeah, I just had some paper towel to cover up the, the cup and all kinds of uh, little, looks like maybe some metal shavings in there, some bits of my target, maybe even some wood. That's all uh, jammed on there. See the, uh, the spring? Seems to be pretty well intact. This little gold ring. Yeah, I, I actually see some stuff wedged in that. Uh, little gap right there. Yeah, there's definitely some wood and target built up underneath there. This side uh, looks alright. A little bit of dust, not bad. It's a little more shard there. It looks like it's closing up again, but that's without tension on the cup. Otherwise, a little some more on there. Otherwise, not bad. I'm going to go ahead and put this thing back together. Now you see it's got, uh, with these mechanical blades, it's got this, the ring that they're holding on to, and that's going uh, around that little notch. I don't know how well you can see that notch. 
I try to see it on the camera there. Yeah, it's a GoPro. It doesn't focus too good up close. Anyways, that that's on there correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and try to grab this little gold ring. Put that on the back of that. And that slides up directly underneath uh, the mechanical blades. It's got a little notch in there. Put the spring back on. And then uh, slide the cup back over the top. Put the notches where they're supposed to go. And it's what it's supposed to do right there. It's supposed to resist back a little bit. And that's exactly what this, uh, this little guy here, the little insert looking thing is for. Put the fat end. You see it's got the fat end and the skinny end. The fat end goes on the threads. Just make sure your cup is lined up. Just start screwing it on. You'll see it compress. And looks like it might be okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull that back off, make sure it's on there correctly. That ring is uh, making me a little nervous there. Almost looks like the ring is bent a little bit. And again, it might be just by design. But biggest concern is that it goes back together correctly and it's still shootable. There we go, just put a little more force into it. And this cup goes up flush with the aluminum ferrule there. And by the looks of it, it looks like this thing is game time ready for more practice shooting. The mechanical blades are flush up against the ferrule like they're supposed to be. And that's it. They both lock back correctly 100% the way they're supposed to go as if they were brand new. Now you're looking at this blade right here and you take my word for it or not call my bluff and try to but this has actually literally gone into a block of wood completely swallowed up in the wood that's mechanical blades also and I've shot it into my block target at least 25 times and uh, it's still still serviceable. These blades, though they are duller than they were, they, they will definitely cut you up. And I would have no qualms of putting this through a, tur a turkey or a coyote. Uh, I might think twice about a, a deer, but at the same time, these, these are pretty nasty little blades. I wouldn't doubt it they'd go through a whitetail. But uh, that wouldn't be responsible, and of course I'd use new sharpened blades. But, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's really about it. That was the basic um, disassembly and reassembly of the Grim Reaper hybrid broadhead.